Hi. Now we have here Alexandra Markianova from Rostock. What do you work with in Rostock? I'm working for the city council of the Hanseatic city of Rostock, for the mayor's office, and I'm doing international relations. Do you work at all with Interreg projects, or do you know of Interreg projects in your region? Uh, international department don't have such kind of projects, but as I know, the city development department are doing Interreg projects. Yes, good. Um, we have a tool here that we would like to introduce you um, that we believe could help you in your work when you deal with projects and look for pro project partners and so forth. It's called keep.eu. Have you used it before? I have heard of it and checked it a little bit, but I haven't used it uh, on a daily basis. Okay, but then I'm happy to show you a little bit of how it can be used. Um, you can search for different projects or programs um, by region or by country. But um, maybe this time I would like to show you the statistics that you can withdraw from, this, the, from the database. And, and here we see the keep front page and if we click into statistics we come to um, a range of different filters we can use and um, if we go to look at your region um, that you come from where Rostock is and we select Germany for the country and then um, it is in Mecklenburg Vorpommern yes and um, Let's go and see what we have for statistics about this region. Let me scroll down. We can see um, a thematical breakdown of the projects that um, your region has participated in. So we see um, that there are a lot of projects, that's one thing. Um, and we can see that the when scrolling down the thematics that um, you have a lot of cultural heritage projects, education and training, cooperation and cooperation networks, regional planning and development. Does this um, reflect your understanding of the strengths and cooperation focuses? That Yes, actually yes. Uh, education, for example, we have a lot of big universities in mecklenburg vorpommern The university in Rostock will be 600 years next mm -hmm. year. So we have a lot of projects uh, with training and education and also, of course, uh, tourism because yes. we're a coastal city and marine team development. So, yes. so this is um, it's an accurate... <laughs> accurate um, presentation of your activities. Um, this is one way you can sort the statistics, the number of projects that we see here. But what we can also do is that we can go and change the, uh, change the uh, data that we show to budget, because mm -hmm. people are usually interested to see how yes. much money there is. And if we change it to show budget figures, we scroll down to see, oh sorry, I have to still, uh, here we see then budget per thematics and we can see here the amounts of euros that mm -hmm. these projects where uh, mecklenburg vorpommern has participated, how much money has been in this project. It doesn't mean that this is the money coming to your region, but it is the total amount of these projects. So. Um, we can see here that perhaps the thematics that are strong in numbers of projects are not necessarily always the, it doesn't correlate fully with the amount of euros. And here we see, for instance, that infrastructure projects have actually been the, do you, can you think of some infrastructure projects? Um, in your region? Yes, for example, developing the harbor in Rostock because of international sailing festival. We need more and more place for the big ship, tradition yes. ships. Yes. Uh, so I think infrastructure is a, a good point. Yes, so this is a good source of information when looking at yes. the benefit that Interreg can bring to a region. You can, number of projects is one thing, but usually Euros speaks quite uh, yeah, quite that's a strong true. language, and um, this is one place where you can find information about also the the amount of um, euros. Do you think this is something that you will find useful when you go back and work further in your cooperation? 
Yes, of course. I can look which project actually and try to find partners maybe. And I think it's also important that you have this statistic from 2000s. So I can look, maybe somebody did a similar conference or similar project as we. So ask them to share their experience. That's why I think it's a good database. Yes, thank you. We agree. Thank you, thank you so much.